Good afternoon, Grouch Nation, man. It's your boy Coleon here. Um, I just wanted to stop by and kind of remind you guys about the 420 event coming up. So make sure you guys definitely stop by and check that out. Duke will be hosting it. It starts at noon. Mm, probably ended around 5-ish. Just depends on it. But, um, definitely got a lot in store for you guys, but it's not why I'm here today. The reason why I'm here today, man, it's just so much shit has just been bothering the fuck out of me. Like, we're all supposed to work together, you know, we're all supposed to be a team in this. And when I say we, I see, I say we as an Americans as United States, and I was at the store today, and this girl was paying with, like, nickels and quarters and shit, and, you know, it's not a big deal when you're hurting, you're hurting, man, like, there was a couple younger women behind her just heckling her, and it really bugged me, it really, really bugged me, um, just because somebody's down on their luck, doesn't give you the right to make fun of that person. A couple months back, um, I had gave uh, somebody some money so they could get some medicine and stuff, and uh, she had reached out to me on Facebook, and she said thank you, and it's all that matters. Like, we need to start working together as people. Us as humanity has came to a fucking crumble. It sucks. Like, it's everybody wants what they can't have. Everybody wants to be famous. Everybody wants to be rich, but nobody ever wants to do the motherfucking work. Like, motivation is the key to success. I mean, you don't want to get your ass off that fucking couch and do something with yourself, man. You ain't going to make it nowhere, plain and simple. You want to sleep in until 1, 2 o'clock in the fucking afternoon? Where is that going to get you? It's going to get you nowhere and nowhere. Like, you got to understand, man. Like, I owe a lot to Duke. I owe a lot to Brandon. They taught me what real loyalty was. They taught me what it's like to have a family, to look out for brothers that are not even blood. Man, these cats put money on my books when I was in prison. They wrote me, you know, they made sure I was good. They asked my family if I needed anything. See, now, we need more of that in this world. We need more people that care. Like, real talk, you know. I know I'm just kind of just <coughs> ranting and raving, but it's my day off, and i kind of just been dwelling on a lot of shit. Um... A lot, of, a lot of different things that I've been wondering, like, what I can do, how I can do it better, you know, we all have our doubts, mine, it's just, today is one of my doubtful days, pretty much, kind of woke up questioning everything, and kind of wondering, you know, what the purpose is for what I'm trying to accomplish in my life, and my fulfilling my fatherhood needs, I guess, if you want to say, and my being a good father, um, just, just a lot of things, man, a lot of things, um, I definitely miss being back home in Springfield, definitely miss that a lot. Um, for some of y'all that don't know, Duke is down in Springfield. I'm up here in Wisconsin. Um, so, it's it's different, man. It's weird being away from my brothers. Yes, you know, I have my, my beautiful daughter and my beautiful son up here, you know. So, that, that keeps me, you know, staying here. But, I've been watching a lot of these YouTube channels lately. Weed tubers, you know. Just different things like that, and uh, shout out to a lot of them, man. A lot of them, shout out, big shout outs. Like, y'all keep it going, man. Uh, Cannabis Nerds, shout out to them. Uh, I'm gonna call y'all Puffin' Stuff, but it's technically it's Puffin' Lungs. So, but if y'all hear me refer to them as Puffin' Stuffs, like, talking about puffing lungs, no disrespect, it just always pops in my head every time I hear that, um, Fester Jester, 
red to the head. Definitely gotta give a shout out to the, you know, best weed tubers in the uh, whole game right now. And that's, you know, that's uh, Mr. Blue Devil there. But, you know, um, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little shout out, uh, things like that. I hope y'all can hear me. I'm kind of mumbling, man. I'm kind of in my box today. It's been a long, long day for me. There's so much shit going on. It's ridiculous. Um... But, oh no, man, I'm just trying to make it a day for day kind of thing. Uh, it's not a stony ramble, fuck, I'm not even stoned. This is just things that have been bothering me a lot lately. And I really gotta overlook a lot of this shit, but, like, my thing is, I hate when people talk down on other people. That's my biggest pet peeve. Especially when you're nowhere in your own damn self, like your own life, your own inner peace, like you're nowhere. And I I hate to be the guy that judges on how far you are in life, but I'm sorry. Uh, if you're if you're not standing toe to toe with me and I'm out here trying to bust my ass, make a dollar for the kids, like you you're not equal to me. I don't look down on you, I'm just saying you're not equal as me. It just means I won't fuck with you. Plain and simple. It's not that, you know, because you're broke or anything like that. No, it has nothing to do with money. It doesn't have anything to do with if you got fucking weed or anything. It's all the mentality state. And if you're if you're not reaching out and you're not in the same mentality level as me, you're not wanting the same things in life as me, why would I want you in my life? And that even goes for female aspects, like, why would you want to date a female that all she wants to do is smoke weed, get drunk, and party, like, that ain't gonna get you nowhere, I mean, unless that's that's what you want, but I mean, a lot of y'all out here trying to get, you know, find love and all this and that, and like, if you're trying to find love, you need to... (laughs) <laughs> I can't sound stupid. You need to start looking in the right places. You need to start looking at the people that are on your level. And if you keep finding people that are on your level, but you're looking down on them, maybe you're not on the right level your damn self, man. You need to step it up. Man, Grandpa taught me a lot in this world. One thing he taught me, man, is never be afraid to ask for help. Because even Jesus asked for help. And that stuck with me told me that when I was like four and a half years old and I never forget the look on his face when he told me that you know and it wasn't until I got older I realized you know what he meant by that he doesn't mean like have your fucking hand out you know ask everybody and their mama for help you know it means bust your ass do the hard work you need to do it means it means you you go until you can't go no more and if you need help you ask but you don't automatically just ask when times get tough. No, you gotta try to figure shit out on your own. Like you, you gotta try to do everything on your own. Pretty much. I mean, but I don't know, man. I'm going on kind of like eight minutes here now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this up because it's just rambling over here. But Rouch Nation, stay green, man. Make sure y'all tune in for uh, the 420 giveaway. Uh, starts at noon. And the mega, the mega one that we're gonna give away the big prize is at 420. Um, so yeah, definitely tune into that. But in the meantime, Grouch Nation Greenery, you gotta stay green, man.